Hey guys, Digital Gamer here, and I'm back with another video, and I'm very glad to say that finally, finally, a new god enters the battleground in Smite. Now, this god's name is Nemesis, and I got to say, possibly one of my favorite gods that have come out since Tear. So let's just get straight into the video. Let's start off about talking about her passive. Her passive is called Scales of Fate. Nemesis holds the scales of balance between her hands. Hitting enemies with her basic attacks scales in her favor, reducing the target's physical and magical power by 5% but increasing hers by 5%. Now let's talk about her first ability, Swift Vengeance. Nemesis can dash in a line, dealing damage to anyone she dashes through. In her path, she may dash again after 2 seconds. Once that 2 seconds is up, she cannot dash again. Her second ability is called Slice and Dice. Nemesis swings her blades, dealing damage to anyone within her reach. In the middle, that is where the most damage will occur. Those people will get times 2 damage and also slowed by 50% for 2 seconds. Her third ability is called Retribution. Nemesis puts a shield on herself that will reflect damage back to the god that is hitting her. So, let's say for instance you're in an Alkong tornado. When you put that on, some of the damage is reflected back to him but you're also getting healed by the damage. So, when you're in a tornado or any AoE spell, great to pop it. Lastly, her ultimate, Divine Judgment. Nemesis chooses a single enemy god, reducing their health by up to 50% of their current HP, and their movement speed will also be slowed by 50% for 5 seconds. Now, that is at the max level. And, lastly, she will also be stealing their protections by 50%. Now let's get to the items. Now just before we start into the items, this is personally my build and this is what I found works best for me. You guys don't have to copy it one to one. I mean if you want to, go ahead. But uh, yeah, builds are meant to be tweaked and to your liking. So I start off with Warrior Tabby to get that movement speed and attack speed. You also get physical power which is really nice early game. Then I rush the Focus Void Blade for extra physical penetration. Then you get also 25 physical power with the Focus Void Blade. Then I go to a Rage for that critical strike and attack speed. Deathbringer to correspond with the Rage. Then I go for an Assy and a Blood Forge. The reason I choose these two, an Assy gives you attack speed, physical penetration, and physical lifesteal, which is very good. Blood Forge because you get 40 physical power and you also get 20% physical lifesteal. So in this fighting scenario, I almost got Poseidon. On my way back, I saw Apollo, so I popped my ult on him and then used my slice and dice. I was able to pick up the kill, and when I dashed away, I saw we were going back in on Hercules. As we were going back in on Hercules, Ra used his 1, Frey lifted him up, and right then, I leveled up, so I had enough mana to use my slice and dice and pick up the kill. In this fighting scenario, I was getting minions, and I saw a fight was going down. I kept my distance at first, but then I decided to go in. I went in on Apollo. Freya used her ult, but I was able to get the kill right before he ulted away. As Hercules pushed me back, Freya was helping me. We were able to both secure the kill and get out of there safely. I do gotta save the best for last. As I'm about to kill Poseidon, he used his Aegis Amulet. As he was trying to get away, I accidentally went into a snare, but I quickly dashed towards him and just barely got him in my range. I used my Aegis Amulet here to save some damage being done on me, and then I popped my 3. So as they're damaging me, I'm getting healed. I killed Apollo, and then I killed Nuwa. So, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this video, I do plenty of build videos and I plan on doing plenty more. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and put in the comment section below which god you'd like to see next. Peace.